What it do, y'all? Welcome to Chess Not Checkers TV. It's your boy OGBC. You know, they tried to hold me back for so long. Finally, I get a chance to come talk to y'all, holler to y'all. Basically, all my young, my young niggas out there, man, and young, young women, you know what I'm saying? Females, I ain't gonna call y'all bitches, all that type of shit. But, uh, what I, what I wanna do is, uh, shed light on different shit. Um, from a street nigga point of view, who, from experience though, I'm speaking from intelligence also, don't get it twisted, but everything I speak on, I done went through it before. And I can give you an example of what happened when I did that shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm be looking at current events, what's going on out here in the world or whatever, and I'm going to relay that info to y'all so y'all can see what it is from a street nigga point of view, okay? First thing I want to talk about, you know what I'm saying, is my boy Boosie. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Boosie. He from Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? I'm from H-Town. I got a family all over Louisiana. I love Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? My favorite place to go. So I know what type of niggas they is. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I fuck with Boosie. You know, he cool nigga with him. But uh, I noticed that uh, his baby mama come out with this little thing um, of where I, they had a phone conversation or whatever about I don't know, but she recorded the shit. I ain't here to take sides, you know what I'm saying? Even though Boosie, my boy, I ain't finna say he was right and she was wrong, none of that shit. That ain't what my channel about. You know what I'm saying? My channel about, I'm gonna analyze the whole situation and break it down from both sides. Like, you know what I'm saying? So first of all, you know what I'm saying? The most obvious thing that happened was the phone call. Okay? When you a nigga of Boosie's stature, you got money like Boosie or whatever, man. You know. Uh, you got motherfuckers out here that don't like that shit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, matter of fact, hold on, I skipped the situation. Whenever you in beef with somebody or you in an altercation with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know this how it is in Texas. Um, terroristic threats will get your ass locked up. Feel me? So what a terroristic threat is that uh, you see a nigga that you don't like or you in beef with a nigga that you don't like whatever. And uh, you tell that nigga, nigga, I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass when I see you, boy. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or, uh, uh, nigga, I'm going to kill you. He could be over the phone or in person. You know what I'm saying? If that nigga go to the police and say, uh, uh, man, BC said he was going to kill me, da, da, da. I got the phone, uh, a conversation recorded right here. And he play that shit. Get what? BC going to jail. That's Texas law. So, first of all. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep your mouth closed at all time. I don't give a fuck how, how bad a motherfucker piss you off or what they do. It's ways you can tell people shit without telling them. You don't got to tell a bitch what you going to put a bag on your head, none of that. All you got to do is say, bitch, you know what time it is? If the bitch know you and you really rock like that, you know what I'm saying? You really a third row nigga, she going to know what it, what it is. You don't got to get in detail, man. You know, you got to say less. That's why I named this shit Boosie. Say less, bro. You a boss type nigga. You know what I'm saying? Say less. You know, niggas who gotta talk a lot, express themselves a lot, and all this old type of shit, man. These niggas ain't niggas that's trying to earn stripes. If you a nigga that's already got stripes, you a rich nigga. Say less. What you gotta say anything for, bro? I don't give a fuck who provoke you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and, 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 and from her standpoint, you know what I'm saying? The shit that Boosie said on the phone. First of all, you never incriminate yourself on the phone. You never tell nobody what you're going to do. You don't never know who you talking to. Could be the police. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Okay. On her side, Boosie got all his motherfucking money. This is what this bitch looking at. This is where envy and jealousy come in at. Boosie got all his goddamn money. That's her baby daddy, so he she know how he take care of her, her, her child, probably take care of her real good. She see this nigga balling out of control, you know what I'm saying? She only probably getting a little money up from Boosie, if any, you know what I'm saying? Bam, that's envy right there. So, of course, yeah, the bitch mad. Yeah, she wants some of that bag, too. You feel what I'm saying? She wants some of that bag, too. Everybody else getting it. She wants some of that bag, too. She out there struggling and frustrated. Okay, so that's how in the back of her head. So as soon as you give her some ammo to run with to destroy you, she gonna take it. See what I'm saying? She knew how to piss you off, put you on the phone call. Bam, she got ammo ran to the law. Try to get your case. But look at the things you say, though. You gotta watch it, you know what I'm saying? You could think something, but what you told her, you told her, bitch, I'm gonna do this and do that, do that, that. 
The bitch know she got she ain't got enough money to beat you. She can't whoop you physically. You know what I'm saying? She can't beat you in court uh, uh, with no with no child support shit because you got money to get lawyers. She can't run up on you. You a street nigga. She can't do nothing. The only way she can defeat you is with them laws. So when she piss her out, you gave her the ammo to go to them laws, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got to learn how to say less. That's a female. That's what bitches do. Excuse me. I said I wasn't going to say that word. That's what females do. That's female shit. They run and go tell the law. They run and go do this and that. You know what I'm saying? So you have to expect that already. So you got to know to keep your mind closed. You know what I'm saying? When you're dealing with that, any type of situation like that. You know what I'm saying? What is you doing over there? Yo. Yo. Yeah. And then, you know, your baby mama is you. That's his baby mama. Boosie got about seven, eight, nine kids. All them baby mamas. Whoever you with now, all them hoes envy her because she getting the majority of everything. So, yeah, it's hate. You know what I'm saying? That's hate from the get-go. And like I say, if you a rich nigga, especially like a nigga like Million Dollar Nigga, why don't you protect yourself and your money like these other rich motherfuckers do? You see the bank, Kroger, I don't know who own it, black or white. They protect their money. Brinks and shit come pick up their money. They got motherfucking reps and people out here to represent their company. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that they promote a good image to protect their money, protect their income. Why we don't do that? You know what I'm saying? Why we don't do that? We getting all this money to protect your money, man. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, that means know how to say less. You know what I'm saying? Know how to let somebody else deal with certain issues and you just stay in the background and be quiet because you the cash cow. You the money man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody supposed to be able to get to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody ain't supposed to, Ain't too many people ain't supposed to be able to talk to you. See what I'm saying? That's how the white folks do it. That's how the Asian folks, they protect their money. That when people get big houses, what they do, they put alarms on them motherfuckers. When people buy big business, they get security guards. Us young folks, young generation, you know what I'm saying? Protect your money. However you get your money, protect that, man. You know what I'm saying? Know that everybody gunning at your bag. If they don't got a bag and you got one, they gunning at your bag, man. Protect that shit, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, I'm going to be coming at y'all on all type of different subjects. I don't want to make no super long ass videos. I can go on and on. But I'm going to be coming at y'all on all type of subjects. I got a list of subjects and shit to come at y'all on. So I'm going to be coming every day with videos, sometimes twice a day. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if it's something out there that you need advice on or that you want me to shed light on, leave it in the comment section. Like, subscribe. I'm starting up this channel. It's going to be every day. It's going to get deeper and deeper. Right now, I'm just scratching the surface. It's going to get deeper and deeper. I'm going to talk on, on the 6 9 shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on, 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 on the, the, I'm, I'm going to talk on everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything that come to light, I'm going to share the G, uh, 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 a perspective. I'm, I'm, I'm going to read between the lines and show y'all what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. A lot of things that we do, we bring up on ourselves. But... It comes from ignorance, lack of experience. Don't worry, though, OGBC Hill. I'm going to give you that experience, baby. Fuck with me.